Welcome back, everybody, to a Game of Thrones. But I was thinking, like, how weird is this scenario that we've got right now? I, I really think it has breathed a a breath of fresh air straight back into this campaign. It's so I, I can't think of anywhere in the base game besides setting up a crusade estate or, or starting a new game, and there just happens to be a landed character where you're playing as not only I mean, obviously the liege or the vassal of your parent where your parent is still obviously an active ruler within the empire still off doing stuff it's such a weird unique scenario just for ck2 let alone obviously game of thrones as well so i'm uh, i'm pretty excited to be diving back into here as of course lady silt the second giant slants given everything by her father but this is another thing i noticed as well she she definitely deserves it with a 33 marshal however at the last character we applied as manure the champion has 24 marshal we're better than him in the thing that he's supposed to be incredibly good at. But, I mean, obviously, he's a bit more about the uh, the personal combat side of things. I think that we can definitely agree on. But that does tie into Marshall, obviously, quite intrinsically. And, and our character is another good reflection that we've almost got 200 personal combat. And he, this guy spent his whole life training up to that level. I think Silt has some incredible potential here. We've just got to be very careful with how we play it. Because with these high Marshall, high... Uh, personal combat characters as we've seen through this campaign through and through live by the sword die by the sword and all that so let's be careful but let's also try and maximize whatever we're going to get out of her I, I don't want to be super super cautious to miss out on building an incredible character but you know sim similarly we, we do have to be a little bit careful here so i'm going to request a military train i think first and foremost i think let's also i mean we could check out the bounty board if we're feeling i mean i feel like jewels like this are an absolute guarantee that we're going to win right Minus 22 versus 194. It doesn't take any time as well. Like, like in-game time doesn't add any years onto our character's life. We don't have to wait around for months. This is just an instant gain to our, not only our cash and our prestige and our glory, but also to our personal combat. So let's do it. I mean, I, I feel like this is a guaranteed success. There's over 200 points in it. Come on. I, I mean, I can see that we're also going to die doing this because it isn't the most fair system in the world. But hey, this seems like absolutely something we should be focusing on. I'm going to mark that as special interest. How are we looking? Again, 15 personal combat. Not a problem at all. Boom, look at that. She's following her father's footsteps already. However, she, like I said, has the potential to be so, so much better than him. We also have a couple of other things that this character has access to that our previous character didn't. So first and first, we can actually look for minerals, which will allow us to build some unique buildings inside the Eyrie. We'll, we'll focus on the Eyrie a little bit because as we had with our previous character, we can hold all of the towers and simultaneously hold the Eyrie. So it's not like, you know, the money that we sink into this or whatever is going to go to waste. This will still be part of our domain eventually. So we might as well build it up, huh? Um, oh, we can also build that Jewel Academy, right? Because we're already a formidable fighter. Unreal. There's also an option to build the Eyrie. Oh, right. Oh, shit. Wow. So we can actually build the, the fortifications that make the Eyrie the Eyrie. You know, the, the, the supposedly impregnable fortress. Um... Yeah, fort level plus eight is kind of ridiculous. Maybe if they had that, we wouldn't have been able to grab it up. It just gives fort level plus eight for 270 gold. Honestly, as, as cool as that is, it's really not worth it at all, is it? We've already got a fort level of nine. I mean, past six is pointless anyway. Um, I, and I mean, who the hell is going to assault us here? Who the hell is going to go to war against Manure the Champion with a 69,000 hate? Nice amount of troops. I think we're safe. I don't think we really have to worry about it. I don't think our fellow vassals are going to turn on us either. Not when, uh, not when daddy is the king. Of course, the thing we're really waiting on right now is to go on the tour and see if we can get some more marsh That is kind of kind of a bit risky, I will admit. It's one of the more risky things we could do with this character. Oh, shit. I'm surely with child. My husbando will be pleased. Excellent news. Um, our, our prodigy husband. Now, one thing I did notice as well, Game of Thrones what actually lets you seduce your husband for some weird reason. I know, absolute madness that you would ever think that you want to do that. But yeah, it does let us do that, so we should probably roll with that. Um, of course, the, the tour is incredibly dangerous, like I was saying, but it can give us some extra points in, in Marshall. There is just a straight chance of dying on the on the tour, as long as they haven't changed the event too much. Obviously, they have adjusted that system somewhat with the whole royal progress and, and, and things like that. But it used to be a case that on your ship, you could just get shipwrecked and die. So, might be a bit risky. Might not be worth the risk, because you only stand to gain, you know, a few stat points here and there. There's a chance you can get a smith weapon or armor, but we've already got the best money could ever buy. So, I'm not sure... I think we've got to go for it, though, because because we've never done it in this entire campaign. We never had the opportunity to do so. We've sort of behooved this empire. So your master, the maester, the master, I assume that's the maester. You have sent to look for minerals have found something. And it's perfect location for a new mine close to your capital. Excellent. Um, what can we build? So, so that, I mean, doesn't really tell us much, but you will get a unique building in the capital. What have we got? Iron. That sounds pointless. What does it give you? Like troop bonuses, you'd assume? Oh, wait, that sounds incredible then in hindsight. 
Oh, yeah, no, that's really good. So there are things like, uh, uh, as I've talked about before, I imagine if we go to the Westlands here, they might have gold mines built or something along those lines. Um, no, apparently not. Uh, oh, yeah, large gold mines. There we are. That gives an absurd amount of tax income. But to be honest, when we end up inheriting the Empire, I'd rather have the troop upgrades than anything else, to be honest. Um, sure, I assume it's just the troops also in this province, but we also want to try and do that with Emmons Rest. Hey, if we get an iron mine there, that would be fantastic. So let's uh, let's take this down as well, because, you know, I think we want to probably get the best what we can out of this province right now. It's only a 0 0.5 tax income hit. I imagine we're not making too much tax, but that seems like a pretty significant upgrade, so we'll, we'll roll with that one. Husband, I made sure to attend a minor event in the area in the hopes of seducing Lord Magor, but despite my best efforts, he remains unimpressed. That would say otherwise. I need more practice. Well, I don't know. It might, might not say otherwise in hindsight. Maybe that's just what our character's like. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can train ourselves into being an incredibly good sword fight. That's my personal goal here. Sussy Valerian, we can't, we can't deal with that. We can't deal with that. We need we need to keep these first men. We need to keep this first man culture strong. I did also notice as well that uh, our father married a Valyrian. Our grandfather married a Valyrian. It's not a big deal. There was a comment that's like, "Be careful, your 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 dynasty's getting very Valyrian here." If you have a line of ten thousand first men and then three Valyrian, you don't become a Valyrian overnight. That's not quite how that works. But I do see a point that we have been very kind of Valyrian heavy. D just blame, hey, blame the game. It's making all of those guys the prodigies. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything there. They follow the first, they, they follow the old gods. We're first man culture. You know, just having white hair alone doesn't make you a Valyrian. Squirrel Belados submits a harsh training program. Um, we're gonna follow his advice. I trust him. We don't really want to gain stubborn, but I, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna roll for this and, and really try and maximize our potential early on. What would he be up for? He's shy. Uh, make a lewd suggestion. Yeah, let, let him. Uh, perfect. See, I know, I know how to, I know how to get them Valyrians wrapped around my finger. Let our love grow. Perfect. That solved that problem. She's now in love with her husband. No risk of assassinations. Hopefully, risk of many babbies, which is uh, obviously quite a large risk. Still only sixteen. I feel like I've been waiting for this grand tour for ages. What else can we do? Oh, of course, the man's board. Right. And there's nothing more embarrassing to be hunted down dead by a Perganonat woman. Uh, 184 personal comment. We have lost a little bit probably because of the Perganant. Let's go for it. I think we should still be good. Absolutely. Annihilated him. Um, Master Ka Karaya? Who are you? Oh, his wife. It's pretty upset that we murdered him. Or at least gave him a, a pretty crippling blow there. It's understandable. She's on the seduction focus, so crippling blows are a middle name. No, don't. Edit that out. Edit that out. Um, so, Lucan, I owe you nothing. No, every time I... It would be nice if we got a notification when there were, like, new bounties. Because, unfortunately, there's no real way to balance it. I keep looking back at this, expecting there to be something different. Let's remove that for timing. I was going to take off uh, Commissioner Sepulchre. And then we'll just let some time tick, I think. And, and just wait until we can actually go out on this, uh, on this tour. I'm hoping... Oh, by the way, someone also said on yesterday's episode, I didn't notice in the comments, somebody said uh, North is independent. North's not independent, it's just the mega war thing that's going on again. So, when that's finally ended, when they're... I assume the North... Yeah, when the North's war is also ended, then it'll come back under. It's just the the mega war system we've had going just the entire campaign, so it's understandable why I might have missed it. Right, let's set up some... Uh, <laughs> wow, damn, that was, a bit, that was a bit fucking catty. I apologize. Hey, Prodigy, though. That's great. That's fantastic news. The Regency has ended. Here we go. What are we going to name her then? Um, obviously, Sarah. Garbage. R rubbish. Have we got any in the, in the treasury? In the treasury? Have we got any in the lineup? Marble would make sense given the whole, you know, Valyrian hair color, that thing going on. So, of course, marble is is, is generally quite a uh, quite a sought-after thing for your, for your decorations and your busts and your big old Roman columns and whatnot. That's a very historical description. We're going to go with Marble. I think it just suits her perfectly. We can also rank up already. Shit, that took no time. Um, let's do it. Ask for the jewel. What has he got? 71. Going to get annihilated. That's what. Get out of here. Get out of here with that weak shit. Apparently, uh, apparently good old, I don't know if you saw that there. Apparently, good old Manure building, uh, just building temples. That's what he's wasting the treasury on. I think we did leave him in good hands, but my god. I, I would have never built temples personally. Oh, we're also friends with him. That's really nice. This is this is all going to so we've got we've got a loving husband a, a lovely lovely incredible daughter a, a father loves us a lot as well this is just like the ultimate scenario and if I know anything about Game of Thrones everyone's gonna get horribly murdered any second now so let's start educating you and let's just put all your eggs in that basket so I can even be, be even more devastated when eventually you're murdered horribly um, who, who do you want to educate I mean I mean that should be an obvious question. Obviously, Silt will educate. We could even give her to uh, Manure, but I don't think he's particularly... It's not particularly good educate because of his slothful trait. So, we don't have anything that particularly lends ourselves well to education, but at least we're not, you know, we're not going to have any negatives or anything like that. Uh, we can nurture her personally at the expense of our health. We get breastfeeding child just gives minus 10% fertility. 20% um, chance of getting a, st a stat and 30% chance of us gaining kind. That seems fine. 
Uh, we didn't gain kind. Not really a problem. You know, I think kindness is a step up from weakness, which is uh, definitely how the vassals would see it. Marble. So it looks like she actually gained a point in, Mar in Marshall. That's incredible. Marshall Marble. Oh, and there we go. Right in queue, the, the north has actually come back into the kingdom there. Very, very nice. I'm, I'm really interested when we actually do reinherit this empire, what exactly... I kind of want to be in the dark a little bit about what uh, what Manure is up to. We'll check on him sort of maybe at the start of the episode, maybe at the end of the episode, something like that. But between that, I, I just kind of want to keep things a little... I'm not going to check his treasury. Don't really want to check his stats or anything like that. Kind of just want to watch him go butt wild. He, I can't have a notice. He has given away two of the towers. Not really much worth. I think they're military command. Yeah, so, so when the ruler dies, we get those back anyway. That's not a big deal. You know, we can give those away all he wants. We'll just get those back eventually anyway. Hello, my friend. Um, do not let the Reaper get G before you. We are the Reaper. We are the Reaper. You see, I have nothing to worry about, my friend. Uh, oh, or not. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I lied. Uh, to someone, someone else is going to get her. We can already go on a warrior pilgrimage. Hang on. What's our leadership trait? Unyielding and leads from the rear. Um, unyielding is obviously quite good. Leads from the rear, nah, maybe not so much. Maybe not so much. Um, either way, we can go on a warrior pilgrimage to try and upgrade those. Bear in mind, these are also incredibly dangerous. Quest the Kingdom of the Veil? Nah, because we, we do eventually want to go on that foreign tour. Let's go out. Let's see what we can find out there. Uh, go ahead. These voices sound foreign. I want to look at your wares. I like the alchemy. I'll offer you petrol in your own workshop. Yeah, let's go for that one. 40% chance of gaining Mystic. I'd kind of like Mystic. 30% chance of gaining Fire Obsessed. The trusting would be garbage. The other two would be fine because they would give us access to some other guilds. And we get a grand total of fuck all. But we can build ourselves a crazy Alchemist Workshop now. It gives us a little bit of tax, but we might actually finally be able to get the uh, the unique event chain to do with that. Don't know exactly what triggers it. I just know what the what the mod author hinted at it doing. So I'm kind of interested to see what that does. I'm concerned about the future of my dear daughter, Marble. The realm requires a strong and healthy air in order to prosper. It's my duty as a responsible old god's princess. Take all possible precautions to ensure a smooth succession. What a strange thing to say. Um, we can issue a closer reading of Marble's horoscope. Entrusting the future to your piety and learning. Um, no, let's not do that. We can... Grower with the utmost care, giving her plus 1.5 health in exchange for 20 gold. She'll be guarded from every danger, making her heavily guarded for 20 gold, giving her 25% plot power increase, or she'll lose some piety. Okay, um, in that case, I feel like... Uh, piety and learning, though. We've got crap piety. What's our learning? Learning's not bad, but when you've only got 38 piety, I'm probably not going to bother with that one. Um, health or plot power then becomes the most relevant question. I think we'll go for health. Honestly, what's the chance for being assassinated? I, th I think we're, at, we're in a pretty stable round right now. All of our courtiers love us. I mean, they're, they're all big fans of us here. Vassals all like us as well. I don't think anyone's got any reason to supplant her. She's the heir to the heir to the empire. So I, I think we should be all right. I'm going to go with the health bonuses because disease can hit at any time. And it'd be a real, real shame to lose this, this incredibly good daughter. Oh, why not? Okay, go on then. These are always so risky. I think we actually lost a character this series to this, didn't we? So I'm, I'm, I'm a little apprehensive, but maybe we can play it safe. You know, if it, it, we'll, we'll kind of a bit more consider the risk versus reward, especially because this character is so young. We got so many years playing as a right now. Be a real shame to lose her this early on. Um, Master Jamie of Snowkeep has been a little and able servant, I'm sure. Um, we can say, oh, nothing, just get minus 20. Oh, 10 gold. 10 gold just to keep him happy. Well, to, to actually increase his opinion. That, that's absolutely fine by me. Right, warrior pilgrimage then. Let's see what we've got. Uh, no, we don't want the we don't want the Kingdom of the Veil. No, absolutely no. We want to go on the foreign tour first. Then maybe that we'll request it after that. Because that would get some gold. So we can maybe even start to work as this character supplanting some of the Faith of the Seven Vassals. Maybe even demanding their religious conversions as well. Which I hope Manure is doing. I don't know. Maybe he will do that. I don't know if the AI is even capable of doing it. Actually, they must be, because we've had some people have demanded conversions before, haven't we? Anyway, according to Justicia Luke and the small folk of the area, wants some gold. God, who doesn't? We haven't got the money for this right now, especially playing such a small scope ram. I've got to bear that in mind. Going from a round that was swimming in cash and troops and power to coming all the way down to this. We've got to be very careful with what we're actually spending the money on at this point. Right, okay, so first event. While walking the long and lonesome road, there shines a shiny demon. Uh, we can charge him by ourselves. 20% chance of getting wrath, 20% or uh, 10% chance of getting brawny, 40% chance of getting wounded, 20% chance of being maimed, 10% chance of straight up dying. That's obviously quite good. I mean, I'd argue wrath is pretty good as for a martial character. 10% uh, chance of brawny would be insanely good. 40% chance of being wounded, not bad. So I'll, t I'll treat that one as neutral. I mean, you've got 30% chance of something going wrong. Uh, lead the travelers to battle. 32% chance of actually nothing happening. 8% chance. So it's only 2% less chance. But the chance of dying is reduced by 4%. Help the bandits. Gain some gold. No chance of dying from that one. And we can still gain brawny. 
70% chance of gaining arbitrary, though, is pretty bad. Um, or we walk around and lose Brave. I might help the bandits. Would that suit her? Brave, temperate, ambitious. I don't see why it wouldn't. Oh, man, I, I do want to go for that one. I know in my heart that I want to go for the highest chance of brawny, but I also know we're going to get so unlucky. We're going to get, like, maimed and we're going to die. If we were 40 and with five kids, maybe I'd consider it. Oh, we're going to help the fucking bandits because that, I think, has the best outcome for us. I mean, there's no chance of dying if we help the bandits and there's a chance of gaining 250 gold. That's win-win as far as I'm concerned. Oh, shit, my face. Oh, God. We got the gold, though. <laughs> <laughs> we just paid like 250 gold in exchange for a nose. Oh, shit. Um, we can... Oh, we have the, the magic of the old gods, don't we? Now, this was explained to me how this worked over Discord by, by original Soulborn, who said that if we have prisoners, we can sacrifice them, hang them from a weirwood, whatever that you, that you do to please the old gods. That would allow us to... Cure your malformations. We also need 500 piety, which is going to be quite tricky to do. Um, as long as we've got a guy hunting an apostate. Oh, we actually can't. Oh, we can. There we go. Um, 0.57, but then we would also miss out on potentially proselytizing. I think I'm going to go for this instead. You know, there's a chance we can try and grow up. Imagine that. Leaves on her first warrior journey, comes back without a fucking nose looking like that. My God. Okay. Uh, barber surgeon, I don't suppose you can glow on a nose. Buy a mask. That's actually what I was looking for. So you can kind of actively buy prosthetics in the Game of Thrones one. It makes a lot more sense, given the amount of bloody mask characters or characters with fake arms or whatever in Game of Thrones. Okay. Uh, does not have a region, so we got to wait till we get home before we can buy a mask. Apparently can't buy those on the go. That's a good start, I guess. That's a good start. Lose the traits of alien. So buying a mask, as I recall, actually kind of cancels out the negative. It gives like plus 15, attraction billion or plus 10, something like that. Doesn't exactly make things all, all, all perfect again, but I mean, you've also got to drop the gold in it as well. So, hey, at least the gold we made from the bandits we can now use to buy a mask. Kind of a... It, it was a roll-up brawny. That was the important thing. It was a roll-up brawny and we weren't going to die from it. So, I think I think that was absolutely a fair shout. I think it was the right decision to make. Despite the fact we didn't get the best outcome. But, hey, it is, uh, it's, it's, you know, Lord of, Lord of Ravages and all that. Uh, Gigak, hello, my friend. Teach me. 3% chance of dying. I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of that. I'm ready for anything. 15% chance of dying. 19% chance of getting brawny. Fucking hell. Um... When he comes to my court, there's 200 gold to make him an honor-bound commander of our court. I'm no need of your counsel. Um, God damn, 15% chance of dying is horrible. I have no need of your counsel, my man. Bear in mind that we're already, I mean, a formidable fighter. But I forget to... What? He sacked us? He kicked us out? Why is this? Because we... <laughs> Don't, doesn't want to stick it in our nose in his business, most likely. <laughs> we're not going to be sticking our nose anywhere because it got chopped off. That's very rude of him, though. I, I, we no longer friends with him as well. It looks like the green aura. It might still be there. It's just... Yeah, okay. We're still friends with him. That's okay. No hard feelings. Just... Oh, God. He's a tyrant. Oh, shit. Man okay. You know, I said I wouldn't check up on Manure, and we'll sort of leave it as a slight surprise for us there as well. Damn. This is... Uh, I told you things were going too well. Things going too well in falling in love with her husband, have a nice daughter. Get your face sliced in half straight away. Incredible. It appears you cannot take two steps without some sort of bandit or knights challenging you to another man as another man faces you yet again. He's on a similar journey to improve his own skills, and the challenger has the choice of how far the duel will go. So many personal combat. Um, you're dead as dicks. Dead as dicks. 14% uh, chance of being wounded. Told you. Dead as dicks. Easy. Not a problem. Not that we really need the, the plus five personal combat. Again, I kind of wish those would give you a chance of getting brawny as well, huh? Slightly, slightly riskier, slightly less risky chance. Okay, cool. So we actually upgraded Unyielding there to Unshakable. Gives Moral Defense plus 40% and Defense plus 20%. Um, which, when you're being dogpiled by 100,000 and or troops just for trying to take a single province, probably not too bad. That's okay. Oh, oh shit, we can rank up in the society as well. Okay. Um, go for it. Who are we up against? 223 versus 229. Oh, yikes. This is going to be close. Is there any final things we can do here? Um, like any sort of last minute? We could try and get into shape. Hey, nice, perfect shape. There we go. That does give 10% facility, so I should just be doing that all the time. Let's do it. This is going to be very close, but I, I, I mean, I imagine we're probably going to lose. We're fine. Shit, not only did we win, gave him a mortal wound. Damn. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate your sacrifice. God damn, and you're chill out. Every 30 seconds, he's like, you know what? I've decided another vassalization war. Another vassalization war. Fine. I am surely with child. My husband will be pleased. 
Not when he sees your face, he won't. Well, I imagine that probably came beforehand. Let's buy a mask. There we go. That's a little bit better. What does that do for us? Yeah, so like I said, it doesn't quite cancel out. The sex appeal plus 15, diplomacy plus 2, but it's a start. We might also... Can we can we heal ourselves and wear the mask at the same time? That way we only get sex appeal from it. I'm not entirely sure that would work. Uh, can we malformation? So what does we need again? 500 piety. That's going to take a long time to get. And then we need dark magic greater than equal to two. I assume that's maybe like two sacrifices. I do vaguely remember the uh, relore mechanics where we played ages ago. Right, where do you want to go on your tour? The trade of the three cities entices me the most. That we can go and see uh, Gishkar, we can go see the Jade Sea, the Summer Sea. Um, wonders made by man, or I investigate the strange black stone. We've, I think every series, to some extent, has been... I mean, has had some degree of investigating the strange black stone. Um, I mean, they're both the same. Like, that's, that's fine. Let's do it. You would start a tour of the strange black stone found all over the known world. I shall return a better woman. As long as you grow your nose back, I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. Oh, this is also cool. So when we go on a tour, I completely forgot this was an aspect of things. This, this alone makes it worth it. My upcoming quest may be a good opportunity to learn and advance my knowledge. Perhaps I should dedicate my time to a particular field of knowledge. We can become a linguist, giving us plus two diplomacy, plus one learning. I think linguist was always the best one, right? Cartographer. Oh, actually, movement speed plus 10% for a character who's almost certainly going to be leading armies. I w that would stack with organizer as well, so that'd be very, very nice. Traveler is not bad at all if you want to build a big empire. If you were like the leader of Valyria or something, this would be extremely important. Um, you know, I think cartographer for the movement speed plus 10% would be very nice. Plus, we get the diplomacy. Days of supply plus 25 seems quite nice. You gotta remember that that siege that we had of the what was it, it was strong song, wasn't it? It wasn't even the eerie. That, I mean, would have helped mitigate that to some extent. Let's go for it. We're gonna try cartographer. So as I recall, when you end your tour, you get that trait after a certain amount of time. I thought it was bugged the first time around, but it actually just took a little longer to add to our character. If we get that, that's fantastic. And of course we're not gonna ask the title until we're home, just in case it cancels it or something like that. I decided given the uh given the given the success and given the widespread renown that came from our capital having a barber surgery, we should build one in the area as well. Just because if we are gonna be out there constantly fighting, constantly getting our nose chopped off, probably won't make a habit of that one though. Then having a barber surgeon just to just to help patch us up very briefly. And it's changed for a little bit of prestige, that's fine. We got prestige coming out of our I mean hole in our face at this stage. The high tower. The Great Square Fortress serves as the foundation. The famous high tower is known to predate the upper levels by thousands of years. Made of a strange black fused stone. Same as what's in Valyria. I, I've talked about this so much throughout the many different series, but there's uh, there's there's a few different types of black stone. There's like the oily black stone. There's the, the fused black stone of Valyria, which I believe the five forts are also built out of. Then the sea stone chair, which is the, uh, the, the throne in the Iron Islands, is built out of the same oily black stone as like the... Um, is it the frog statue in, in the Basilisk Isles has that, or, or near Gogasos? Um, there's oily black stone as well in Ashai, I think, um, Stigai is built out of it specifically. I don't remember. It's, it's, it's a whole deep lore thing. Uh, uh what's his name? Old Shift X has a really good video on it if you want to go into a bit of Game of Thrones deep door li- deep door living? Deep lore diving. During your travels... Uh, uh, you notice the local smith who wants to make you sword and a set of armor. No, we're, we're good. Thank you. I don't think you could beat what we've got already, my man. I appreciate appreciate the effort. Speaking of which, we're going to go to Pike next. This is wonderful. The weirwoods in the area have grown ever larger. Oh, shit. That's cool. Truly, as to behold, they've gotten even bigger as a great testament to the gods. Is that a... Oh, weirwood tree. So, is that what will upgrade that? Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a really, really cool mechanic. So... I guess if we... Oh, it also counts the old gods in the mountain count those up. Okay, fair enough. Um, that's a cool mechanic. So so the longer somewhere is uh, old gods, I imagine it grows and gives you... Oh, it's just it's just piety and prestige. That's cool, though. So let's take Winterfell, for example. I imagine they have quite a big godswood, don't they? Yeah, a large godswood. That's very nice. And that's not even the top level. Godswood forest. Very cool. Uh, piety plus one, prestige plus one. Well, there's the goal right there. That's that's very cool. What have you got in Emmons Rest? I, I don't think we've actually seen that event before. Godswood Forest. Wow, in the in the God's Fort. The God's Eye is numerous and widespread. I mean, I mean the the God's Eye there. That's the actual uh, on the on the Isle of Faces. The that that is a massive forest of supposedly weirwoods. So that that's kind of thematic that that would also be that. That's that's very cool. I didn't even know that was a mechanic. See stone chair. There we go. Strange oily black stone. Nailed it. Mr. Streamer got some law right for once. That's nice as well. We're also a popular ruler. This catch as well liked by every ruler nearby. I imagine that's just a opinion map mode thing. Well, we're really not that like nearby though, are we? Um, it's a bit, of, a bit of a mixed bag. It's a bit of a mixed bag. What the fuck have we done to piss off these guys down here? What's wrong with you? Huh? 
Foreign religion minus 20. Oh, is that it? Is that really the, one of the things that makes us... To be fair, though, c click anywhere on the map and compare us to what their opinion of this ruler in particular happens to be. I mean, yeah. I mean, our map is significantly more green than your average character, huh? Holy shit, yeah. I mean, it's probably something to do with sex appeal or something like that. But yeah, that's that's a, that's quite a nice little bonus there that we won't have to worry too much about that thing. Uh, did he win that war out of interest? Oh, it certainly looks like he has. My god. Of the borders... These borders are like, spending quite a lot. Um... I don't think we had that one. Ox Cross? I don't, I don't recommend any of these. I, I have a feeling he's also expanded into the Stormlands more, too. Oh, we've lost Storm's End in the process, or is he just in, uh... Maybe Storm's End is just at war. No, we've lost Storm's End, but we gained some of the other Stormlands instead. This is so weird. Yeah, let's just leave him to it. He's doing a good job. A son called Florian. Prodigy and attractive. Say no more. Wow, this kid. Holy shit. Let's train him up in struggle. Did I train my daughter in thrift? Oh, without even thinking about it. In hindsight, though, it worked out super well, though, didn't it? Given that we kind of, I think, prefer this kid to be our heir now. Given that he's attractive and prodigy. That's nuts. Do either of the... Neither of these two have attractive. That's so, so good. Okay. Um, Florian. Let's, let's see what names we've got in there right now. Um... Land? What's, what's some good names that we haven't used? That There's like tr traditional house mud first man names. Go for go for a Tristopher. Go for an Emmon. Classic Emmon. King Salt. Uh, died, taken long before his time. Well, what sort of relation is King Salt to our grandfather? Oh yeah, no, that he actually would be. Maybe we could have a Salt named after our grandfather then. Given that he didn't really amount to much in the end. He's the only bloodline that we haven't got active right now. You know what? Let's redeem the name Salt. Again, Salt being a, a, a white a white mineral, well, in some situations, not all salt, uh, kind of suits it too, kind of su suits the whole Valyrian hair thing. My man's over here playing some 4D chess, he's going for medium realm authority, and he's just bought a load of favors from the whole council. He's, he's, a, he's, he's a lunatic, he's doing a better job than I ever could, look at this man, buying favors from the whole bloody council to try and force this law through, unreal. I'm actually really impressed that the AI has managed to pull this off. I honestly thought the second... That was my big worry about playing the current character that we're playing. Was that the whole thing was splinter in no time. You know, he'd be chucking people in prison, executing people left, right, and center. He's actually doing a really, really good job. And because we've dedicated ourselves to young old Prince Salt here. We have... Uh, we've gained the kind trait. But he also got a point in diplomacy and intrigue. I thought they were mutually exclusive. So that works out pretty goddamn well. Um, even though we're still on still on foreign tour. Probably should come home. You know, I think that's enough Magalu for one lifetime. Let's go ahead and assign him... Uh, oh, we can't assign ourselves as his guardian because we're not at court, technically. Is he at court? That's good. That opens up a, a real set of questions here. Uh, yep, he is... Uh, at court in the eerie, the eerie. What did we do? Just like send him back on a boat? Here, Gendry, get to paddling. I have no idea what the hell happened with that. So we can try and rank up to the top level of the society already. A 20-year-old girl is going to try and take the whole of the berserkers. I mean, he's got 315 personal combat, so I think we're going to get wiped out. But there's not, I mean, what, 60 points in it? Is that, can we do anything else at like the final second? Maybe check the bounty board. Maybe uh, get into shape again. Sure, there we go. That's, that's a good start. Um, bounty board. Oh, we're, we're too busy. We're, we're currently dueling. Okay, let's give it a go then. Damn it. Okay, we lost. That's kind of to be expected, really. This man's also blind. Holy shit, that's that's really, really impressive. What does it give me? He's at minus 95 as well. Shit, this guy was another just absolute machine. Very similar to, uh, how's he doing, by the way? 464. Yeah, I mean, just an absolute machine of a character. If he wasn't blind, he'd be up there with Manure in terms of, uh, in terms of strength. We need a lot more experience. That was a bit pig-headed to assume that we could have got to the rank of, you know, the, the highest level of this society at the age of 20. Right, let's go for it then. Let's go bounty board, see who we can track down, um, if, if anyone. Because, of course, there's a weird mechanic where apparently they can disappear. Hire a, no, 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 don't do that one. Uh, bounty board, let's, let's try this again then. Lord Raymond. Hello, my friend. Okay, he's up for he's up for dueling. Dead as dicks. I, I, was, I keep thinking, why aren't we leveling up to uh, formidable fighter? But of course, we already are formidable fighter. Lady Amory, uh, what are you like? Twenty six. She actually beat us in the duel and would have killed us normally. By the way. Oh yikes! That's really annoying. So if we didn't have that game, we'll turn on. She would have killed us. Right then. Oh my God! She severely injured us, wounded us, and we lost our hand. Are you fucking kidding? Against a cat? Uh, I'm sorry, but there was like, uh, what, like 200 points of personal combat in that? <sighs> Thank God I built that fucking barber surgeon is all I'm going to say. Oh my God, are you joking? 
That's that's insane. That's absolutely insane. We might die now. We genuinely might die. Severely injured. I mean, severely injured, and we've got all these other effects kicking around as well. That's unreal. Oh shit. So mud, I hereby accept your request to name you Princess of the Vale. You and your sons and grandson and children. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, my king. Thank you. I am, I am justly princess. Sorry? This is like a bad translation. What is this crown we've got as well? It's just a, just a crown that we found somewhere. If it suits the masks, you know, it was, it was a good choice of crown. Um, shame that we're probably going to fucking drop down dead any second now. Or not. Uh, no, he's decided that actually we're not allowed to. No, we take that crown, crown off. Here's, here's your crown. Psych, just kidding. Thanks. Haha, <laughs> classic, classic dad with his classic dad jokes. You fucking dick. Perganante again. While she's severely in you're gonna kill her. You're gonna kill the poor woman. Okay. Um, we can rank up. I think I think maybe this is a sign. I think maybe this is a sign that we're, we're playing too fast and too loose. She's trying to live up to her father too much. You know, she's got big boots to fill. She she's this child prodigy. Probably gone to her head a little bit. Probably has gone to her head a little bit. Thought she would be unbeatable. You know, she's got the brain for it quite clearly. She's a prodigy there. She hasn't got the arm to back it up. She might be trained, she might be incredibly good, she might be able to fight the average man in, in, in the personal combat, but no. She's just getting her ass handed to her when it comes to the uh, to the berserkers. She's trying trying too much to be like Mignon. You need to forge your own path, Silt. You need to forge your own path. Don't stop being determined and start being Silt the Sensible. Silt the Sensible. You've lost a fucking arm and a nose in the space of about three years. Okay. Um, what other societies then are, are potentially accessible to us? Um... Skin changes would be cool, but unfortunately we're not a, a walk at all. Um, great trade league. Uh, I feel like that's a bit lackluster. Citadel could be good. Get, get ourselves a university education. Alchemist Guild, I think, is still one of the strongest ones, given that it's an Alchemist Guild with magic. So that's uh, that's not your common thing going on with the Game of Thrones mod. I don't know. Do we try and do we try and overcome all this damage and still go for the rank of champion, or do we uh, do we back off here and now before we get turned into a pirate? I hate to say it, but I feel like the whole honor quest overseas thing has completely bugged out. Because we haven't we haven't gone anywhere. We're we're still stuck in Lorath. We've been in Lorath for the best part of a year now. We've had a kid in Lorath. A, ch a child has been born. Um I think I think I might just have to bring her home manually because she is uh we're about to have two kids in Lorath now. Oh god, who are we at war with this time? Turn my allegiance to my duty. Uh your father tried to have Lord. Johnella Glencher of Gelmont arrested but failed to apprehend her. Uh, what's, what type of rebellion are we looking at here? Oh, it's fine. It's just a bunch of random lords kicking around in the uh, in the Riverlands. That's that's nothing to worry about, really. We'll, we'll help out. We, we got you back here. How many troops we got? 16,000. Yeah, we're absolutely going to help out in that case. Babby is formed. Stevron. Oh, you're such a disappointment. He's just got this genius sister, genius attractive brother, and then... Stevron the unsightly. Nah, we're gonna have to call. It. I'm sorry. You need a. You need a shit name. That's uh, Adam, Tristan, Rocky. Uh, I mean, it's not bad, is it? No, Tristopher is an exalted name. We can't call you that. Let me. I mean, what's a what's a good one that we've used previously? Apparently, apparently none. Um, <laughs> Manure might be appropriate for this guy. If things considered, but no, that 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 name has been redeemed. Earth. Uh, I'm gonna call you Earth, as in welcome to Earth Mud garbage just absolutely awful uh you get trained in humility because with a face like that you'll need it let's go for duty instead oh let's also educate this this incredibly good kid that i'm otherwise basically hanging out to dry right silt so, get on with it she is home she found a way home with her skills and maps like what was prophesized and she's found a way back to the veil no longer on a journey did we miss out on many events and potential stat gains yes was she permanently stuck driving around in circles on her boat? Don't think you drive a boat, but ignore that. Yes, she was. So I, I decided to bring her home. Otherwise, you know, we'd never actually get to play as her here. Okay, now we have to defend the realm. Big civil wars like this, I think we need to set aside a whole episode for. Because if we wait any longer, this is going to drag on hours and hours and hours. I'm sure I actually won't take that long at all. It doesn't seem like a particularly big civil war. But I want to help out. You know, I feel like it's our duty, given that you're named as queen... Well, briefly, and now we're Lady Paramount again. But hey, you know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna help my man out here. Can we buy a fake hand or something? Is that an option? Buy a prosthetic or? I swear you used to be able to do that. Um, oh, maybe maybe it'll pop up. Maybe it's like an event-driven thing. It's like, oh, you buy a golden arm and then you get all the the sex appeal back again. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Thank you all for watching. I'd like to point out that was minus 90 personal combat, and she's still got like 194 personal combat. So she's still she's still 
pretty nuts. Maybe, maybe this is her redemption arc. Maybe she will build her way up to that rank of champion, but she had to, she had to be humbled a little bit, you know? Sit. Because, like I said, age 20, getting to the top of the Berserkers, that would be kind of nuts. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons making this series possible in the first place. The people who have gone above to the highest levels, the upper echelons. These guys are the champions of the Berserkers Guild of My Heart. And those people are Archemia, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kuroso, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Ben Hoflin, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Doolin of Gondolin, Facunda Vasquez, Frederick, Gogolus, Harik, Harry McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kenny Carter, Michael Mullen, Musk Grapful, Nordstrus, Necrofen, and Palvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Megma Stain, Somnus, Shea, T Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Backus, Varagon, William Green, and Zazzy 7011. And bye. Berserker's Guild of My Heart. I was referring, of course, to coronary artery disease. Thank you as well to Uwu Daddy, Asaro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Best Plus Max, Best of Valerian, Black Double H, Blood for the Blood God, Buen Gun, Chris, Corgi Circus, David Van Diepen, Daniel Pete, Don, Don Honey 2 and 7, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Circa, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, I Am Sagatair, I See the Great, Jackson P, Jay Lehrer, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jilps, Lucky Sister, Jilly Vondel, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Justin Rules, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosic, Mastolp, Monty, Mosi Sampson, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panthpel, Peyton Dennisart, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sam Kears, Shardul, Shari, Smurtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, Sweetsea, Talar, The One Ring, Voodoo Mumbo, Void Prince Kibo, Will Wade, Wilson and Tef, Wolfie, Yellowford, Yorkus, Zach, Zetlock, and... Zico 2, thank you guys all for your support over Patreon. See you tomorrow for the big choice. Do we stay or do we go? By which I mean, are we going to get hacked up anymore in this bloody Berserkers Guild?